Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about four simplification theorems that are useful in simplifying uh, Boolean expressions. So these theorems are uniting theorem, absorption theorem, elimination theorem, and consensus theorem. So the united theorem is x, y, or x, y prime is equal to 1. And another way to represent it is x or y and x or y prime is equal to x. So sometimes, for example, this um, model of this theorem will be used and you can use the other model in other um, questions. Then the absorption theorem saying that x or xy is equal to x and the other way to represent it is x and x or y is equal to x. Then the elimination theorem is x or x prime y is equal to x or y and the other way to represent it is x and x prime or y is equal to xy and then the consensus theorem which is the most important one and you can use it in um, many simplifications of boolean expressions is saying that xy or x prime z or y z is equal to xy or x prime z and we all know that the consensus in the consensus theorem, this x y is called the redundant term. So the other um, way to represent the consensus theorem is x or y and x prime or z and y or z is equal to x or y and x prime or z. So here in this video I will do an example using some of these theorems. So for example we have w or x prime y or z and w prime or x prime y or z so we want to simplify this um, expression here so if you look at the uniting theorem up there the first theorem that i wrote you can see that the second um second way of repre representing the united theorem we have x or y and x or y prime so if you look at our expression if you just consider this x prime y or z as our x see we have it in both um, brackets and then we do have y in one of them and y prime in the other one so this x uh, these letters that i wrote in red they are just showing you how um, this expression is analogous to the uniting theorem okay so when we do that then based on the uniting theorem we're going to have only x so that will be x prime and y or z all right then another example will be about the elimination theorem. So what we have is V prime W or UX prime and UX or Y or Z or V prime W. So first, actually I said that I will go ahead and do the elimination theorem but if you don't know which theorem you want to use, just take a look at how it is represented. 
okay so you have two parentheses okay one of them has a prime and then there is another parenthesis so let's find the similarities between these two parentheses okay so you see that inside the first <clears throat> parenthesis you have v prime w or ux do we have the same in the second parenthesis or not and we can see that yes we do have so we have ux or v prime w okay so basically i can rewrite this as v prime w or ux prime and then I will write this ux or v prime w together plus y or z. So this is the same expression as before. I just reorder the terms in the second parenthesis. Okay. Then if you look at the elimination theorem, you can see that I do have x here. And then that, that x is being and by an or expression, which is x prime or y. So I should have x prime in my second term of this theorem. Let's see if we do have the x prime or not. So here, if I consider this whole parenthesis as x, okay, pay attention that we do have a prime here. So basically my x is equal to v prime w or ux prime right so what is x prime here x prime will be v prime w or u x which is exactly what we have in this second parenthesis here okay so if the first parenthesis including the prime is our x then here we do have x prime and i can say that this is my y so based on the elimination theorem this expression can be, sim can be simplified to x, which is v prime w or u x prime, multiplied by my y, which is y or z. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. And thank you for watching.